Armenia. Honorable President Biden, distinguished leaders of states, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to address the second summit for democracy on behalf of the Republic of Armenia. Despite the global and regional challenges, Armenia consistently continues to implement democratic reform agenda. As a result of that, our country improved its positions in various global rankings. The Freedom House has ranked Armenia as a free country in its annual report on the net freedom. Armenia has also recorded unprecedented progress in the 2022 World Press Freedom Index, published by the Reporters Without Borders, improving its positions by 12 points. Last year, Armenia improved its positions by seven points in Democracy Index, published by Economist Intelligence Unit. The government of Armenia continues tackling climate change for building a low emission energy sector and a vibrant green economy. We have made progress in the international energy ranking, Energy Trilemma Index 2021, taking the 53rd place among 127 countries. Along with strengthening the democratic institutions in our country, in September 2022, we had to encounter an aggression against the internationally recognized territory of the Republic of Armenia, which resulted in the occupation of part of our sovereign territory by Azerbaijan. It was back in September that we felt the union of democracies and the clear condemnation of aggression against Armenia. I want to take this opportunity and extend our gratitude to the United States and other partners that helped us stop the further incursion through diplomatic engagement. Armenia feels strongly about the human rights violations across the world and there is a lot that we need to do together to prevent genocides, ethnic cleansings, and atrocities. Whatever is happening with Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh today, the blockade of the Lachin Corridor by Azerbaijan, the only route connecting Enkai with Armenia, and the humanitarian crisis as a result is definitely an attempt of ethnic cleansing of Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh, and we cannot turn a blind eye on that. At the same time, I reiterate that Armenia remains committed to the peace process with Azerbaijan. We are convinced that there is no alternative to the peaceful development of the region, and that sticking to democratic values will help us find a way to peace. Ladies and gentlemen, democracy is work in progress and we will proceed with new commitments by setting a new benchmark for Armenia in the global democratic rankings. I believe in the power of democracy for peace, for freedom, for happiness. Thank you.